Hi everybody, um, in this video, this is for my Project Lead the Way I Introduction to Engineering Design class. Um, we are learning how to calculate standard deviation. And so we're going to start with basically the formula in this video and kind of walk through the formula, what all these symbols mean, because it looks very scary, to be perfectly honest. If you're a freshman in high school, that's a tough formula. So um, so we just kind of want to walk through the symbols, make sure we understand what it means. And then, uh, you know, I'll take a video or two here to help me um, figure out how to actually do the calculations and calculate the standard deviation. It's really not that bad of a process. Um, it just takes a lot of steps. It's a lot of calculations. All are very basic. Um, there's just a lot of them. So let's start with this. Here's our formula that we're given in our formula sheet, standard deviation. This is for a total population. So in other words, like if I knew every single data set, like if I went and did a survey of people in the class and I talked to every single person, that would be a population. Okay. If I was looking for, um, say, the standard deviation of, of something like a sample, so in other words, if I, um, inter I'm interested in what people in the United States think, so I go talk to a thousand people, okay? that sample size would be a thousand. That's a different formula. We'll worry about it later. Don't worry about it too much. For now, we just gonna, we're just we going to do this. Okay, Let's knock this formula out and see if we can understand it. Okay, So a, a few things to understand first. Okay, This symbol here stands for the standard deviation. In, in what we're doing here. And this is the standard deviation of a total population according to our formula sheet. But again, don't worry about it. That's what we're trying to solve for, right? Okay. X sub I means that's your individual data points, okay? This little symbol here is the Greek letter mu. Okay, it looks like a U, but it's got this funny little tail in front, or it kind of looks like a little uh, curvy looking capitalized M, right? Whichever way you want to look at it. Um, typically a U with the tail in the front, but that stands for the mean, okay? Which you know how to calculate the mean. That's like the average, right? And then we have N, which stands for the size of our population. In this case, it's like how many data points do we have, right? So we're just gonna say the number of data values that we're working with, or data points. And this link down here is the Greek letter sigma, sigma. So it's like an S and it stands for sum, okay? So that means it's like a summation. So we're gonna add some stuff up, okay? And if you take a look at that, if you understand all of these different things, basically what it leads us to is this conclusion. What we're going to do in this formula, order of operation wise, okay? We're gonna start by first calculating the mean, okay? And then what we're going to do is we're going to take each data point and we're going to subtract the mean from it and we're going to see what that gives us. And now if we have 10 data points, that means we're going to do this 10 different times. That's going to give us 10 results, 10 different values, each of which we're going to need to square. And once we have those 10 squared values, then we need to add them up, right? And that gives us the top of this fraction. So this means the addition of a bunch of different data points. Once we have the addition of all those values, the sum of all those values, we're gonna take it and we're gonna divide it, kinda of like you do with an average, we're gonna divide it by how many numbers we have. And once you get that total, all that stuff on the inside of the square root, we take the square root at the very end. Okay, so that's kind of our process. That's a, a quick walkthrough. And obviously going through an example is going to be much, much more convenient um, than actually just trying to figure it out from that. But you can see there's some order of operation stuff going on and a table is really the way that we're going to, to go through this problem, okay? So let me start the first example and then I'll probably end up uh, probably end up following this up with a second video just to keep them short, okay? Let's say we wanna find the standard deviation of the data set 48, 53, 62, 44, and 56. My first step is to calculate the mean. That again, that's this symbol on the formula sheet, okay? Why? Because eventually I'm going to need to take every single one of the five values that I have here and subtract the mean from it, okay? So the mean, mu, okay, I can find by taking 48 plus 53 plus 62 plus 44 plus 56. I'm going to take all of those five values, I'm going to add them up, and I'm going to divide by five. Okay, so that's pretty simple math for a freshman in high school. You should have done this multiple times by now. I should have also done it before I actually did the video. Okay, so 48 plus 53 plus 62, 44 plus 56 is 263. I need to take that and divide it by five, and I get 52.6. Now this value is one that we're going to refer to often over and over again in the second video, which is going to be, okay, now what? How do I do this little formula now that I know that this value here is going to be 52.6?